Hello, this video is a uh, presentation of how to install the Professional Estimator upgrade. Uh, this is an upgrade to the legacy version and it's uh, basically called the Millennium Professional Estimator. G-R-A-P-H-I-T-E-C-H dot com and hit enter. This brings up our website. Now, because you may be using a browser that's different than Google, you might be using uh, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Internet Explorer, or even Safari. What I want you to do is, if you're unfamiliar of where downloads actually show up on these screens, you can go over to our support page here. Click on that. And if you come down here to where it says for detailed instructions on various browsers, click here. What it does is it goes through several browsers and identifies where the downloads are going to occur. For example, in this one, this is Mozilla's. You'll see a small arrow at the very top of the page. And that, that is where your download is going to be occurring. Um, if you're running with uh, Google, what you're going to see is uh, you're going to get a window that just says run or save on it. No, I'm sorry. This is, uh, this is not what you see right here. It, what you'll see is that the uh, right down at the bottom of your, your browser page, you'll see where it gives you the download file. And from there, you can click on it. And uh, if you're using... Uh, Opera, what it will do is it will also show up as a little arrow in the upper right corner of the screen. I don't recommend using uh, Internet Explorer, although uh, you certainly can do that. Um, I okay, so that, that describes the uh, information there as far as the download for the browser. We're going to back up here now and go back into to the home page. From the home page, we're going to go ahead and uh, go over here to where it says Millennium Professional Estimator. If you like, you can click on this uh, I little uh, window here that shows the worksheet, and you can get a fairly descriptive idea of what is involved in the worksheet in terms of being able to do an estimate. There is so much information available to you here that you really don't have uh, um, you can always see what's going on with, with the estimate. You don't have to say, well, see, did I, uh, did I put in 50-pound uh, stock or 20-pound stock? Did I put enamel? You have to go back to the stock, stock screen, look it up. Right now, it would show you right in here what your stock is. So everything is available to you all at one time. Although, if you want more information, each one of these question marks will bring up another screen that will help you in that regard. So right now we're just going to click on where it says Millennium Professional. You can click on Download Documentation. And once you've done that, click on Full Professional Estimator. Now, uh, you'll remember, as I uh, mentioned, if you look down here in the lower right, it's, it's showing you the actual location of where that, where that file is. And if you click on that download, it'll show down here that you're actually downloading it right there. That was in the lower left corner. And you've got to be pretty fast to be able to get it. It's also going to ask you for a decryption code. And I'd like for you to call us at 800-634-8324 in order to get that unlocking code. Um, it's just a code that's used to be able to unlock uh, the zip file. I'm going to go ahead and put it in so that uh, we don't have to worry about it right now. When I do that, it brings up the, uh, the window and it shows you all of the information. And from here, you can just go ahead and you can either uh, double click the setup at this point. WinZip allows you to do that. Or you can save this to a file. You can unzip it and save it into a folder. I would recommend putting that into the desktop 
For example, if we say unzip, go to where it says location, um, tell it that you want to put this on the desktop, uh, that you want to create a new folder. And I think I've already created that new folder. It's called uh, GT Downloads. And uh, when you do that, it'll go ahead and save it into a folder called this. So I'm not going to actually do it. Well, I'll go ahead and do it. It'll, it'll create a second one. Okay, so we've chosen we've chosen the GT. Uh, where is it here? GT downloads. That's the folder we want to use. Um, we want to tell it to unzip, and we're going to use the one click, and then it goes ahead and puts everything into its own folder. Now it's called GT Pro S one in the GT download area. Okay, and this is a doc file. So uh, when we did that, we've got the two doc files. We've also got a Pro S file that has everything in it. So how do we set this thing up? Just double click Setup EXE on this. WinZip, if you're doing it right through the zip, WinZip, it'll extract all the folds, folders into all of the files into a temporary folder, and then it'll run the program. So we click OK. And shortly it'll come up with the installation. We say, uh, OK, that's good. Click on the large icon there. Bring this into here. And click Continue. If you get a screen that says it's got a, a newer file, and uh, you should always answer yes on that to keep the one you, that's on the system. All right, this uh, MSVCRTDLL, we want to keep that file, yes. And this DLL, we want to keep that as well. That's all there is to it. You click OK, and you basically have your program installed. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to create a, a, an icon onto your desktop real quickly. You click your Start menu. And uh, if you go into where it says All Programs, now you may not be able to see this entirely, but you come scroll down to where it says Millennium. I'm sorry, where it says uh, this is uh, Graphitech Millennium, the Millennia or Graphitech uh, Millennium. Now where it says Millennium Professional Estimator, right click, type copy. Then right click over here on the desktop and paste. And you'll have an icon on your desktop that you can use to access the program. Now you go ahead and double click it. And <laughs> Now it'll show uh, a demonstration mode when you start up. Uh, we'll be able to get that taken care of for you. Uh, uh, once you have it installed, uh, we'll give you the password to, to completely unlock it. For right now, it's just descriptive. You can read through these if you want, but they're not, they're not terribly important for you since you'll be using the full program. And uh, when we do that, you'll be going over here where it says Purchase Options. Uh, now, even though it's talking about purchases here, uh, there will be no bill sent to you. This is a free upgrade for you because of your uh, being on maintenance and the fact that you have uh, the legacy program. So again, you'll just select all, where it says select all. It'll go ahead and mark up all of these things, tell it to get the key code. You'll tell us what the code is that shows here. I'll give you a password. You click enter password. And right there, and of course, uh, you, if you don't enter the right password, uh, it's not going to work. But go ahead, we go right here, um, select all, get the key code. Here, there's password, password in there, then that completely unlocks all of the actions, all of the aspects of this program.
to be able to go into maintenance, which, by the way, is your favorite password, 11111. And there you can go into departmental markups, finish and press sizes, modify stock, edit stock ride ease, owner's header, modifying binder files, editing customers, press files, changing access code, ink colors, vendors and default worksheet. But I'm going to take a look here before we go much further on this is bindery. Um, and we're not going to actually extend of it. And uh, we're going to go into what the worksheet is uh, capable of doing on the next episode. Uh, but for right now, you've got it installed. I would suggest you go over to the help screen, click on help with first estimate. And what you'll see is uh, how to do a first quote and how to retrieve a quote. Real simple stuff, not hard at all. When you get a chance, read through the documentation on templates, and you'll be able to run through every one of those template estimates with this particular worksheet. Once you get familiar with it, it's a snap. Don't forget to send me your data. You want cost file dat, stock dat, customers. Um, call me and we'll get a we'll get a list out to you as to what files I need. We can up update your entire database with the correct information. And uh, that'll be real helpful in terms of having your own presses in there, your own bindery files, your own customers, your own drop-down customers, um, and so forth. Anyway, let's, we'll see you at the next uh, video.